Hello dear students, welcome back to this complicated engineering drawing or complicated engineering topics. So this is second problem that is what of isometric projection problem. So it consists of again two solid primitives. So one is of a square block again and they have an hexagonal pyramid. So let us see the dimensions here. So you have a hexagonal pyramid of site of face 20 mm so now this face is 20 mm here and height is 60 mm or the height of this uh, pyramid is 60 mm here and it is resting on one of the square block of side 70 mm and thickness 20 mm so now square block it has a side 70 mm and it has a thickness of 20 mm so now the base edge is 20 mm here the base edge of the hexagonal prism is 20 mm so now let us see how we can solve it uh, in isometric grid sheet in uh, your sketchbook so now let us check so you have a two objects here so one is what hexagonal pyramid So base edge is here is 20 mm, its height is 50 mm. So one more component you have it is square block. So base is 70 mm and height is 20 mm. Let us see the dimensions. Okay, so pyramid height is 60 mm here. Base is 20 mm. Square block it is a 70 mm. Thickness is 20 mm. Okay, so again these two are resting one over another. So the condition is coaxial. So now let us how to solve here. So again as usual, so you just draw one thin horizontal line here. And you draw one vertical thin line. Let us draw a vertical thin line here. Okay. So first we'll construct a square block of 70 mm. So now keeping this point as a reference point, let us mark seven divisions here. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So now let us draw one. Uh, right side line similarly count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 you draw again on left side 7 so thickness of the block is 20 mm let us draw with two units a vertical line with the two units so now join all these edges okay so you can just draw one thin line here you can just draw one thin line. Okay. okay. So now the thing is, you need to go for construction of the hexagon. So first, you construct a hexagon in a top view condition. So let us construct a hexagon here in top view condition. So now let us make an rectangular block covering entire all its corner points. So let us mark this point as a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let us mark these corners as a A b c d so now based on the measurement how much you are going to get a, a b and how much you are going to get a, a d so you construct again an parallelogram so let us construct here so now i will mark this point as a, a. so now this point as a b so now let us see how much distance you got a b c let us draw here b c 
now let us draw CD so now you join here okay now we measure the dimensions according to the reference point so I will measure the dimensions here what is the distance from point A to 6 now let us mark over here this point is 6 now measure A to 1 mark here 1 let us measure B2 let us mark 2 here similarly measure C3 let us mark C3 here now similarly you measure what is the value of uh, distance from C to 4 let us measure here C4 let us mark here okay similarly you just mark fifth point now let us connect all these points here let us connect all the points 1 2 2 2 2 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 5 to 6 6 to 7 okay now this is to be done with respect to the isometric scale isometric scale so that is what so it has an uh, base edge of a 20 mm so 20 into 8.164 approximately you're getting 16.234 okay every edge now once you've done this one once you've done this one so now let us mark a center point here you can get center point by joining the diagonal points or else you can identify the midpoints and you can join here so now this is what a center point okay so now from this center point you just draw a line vertical line of 5 units length okay okay let us see how much it is 6 units okay it is 6 units here so let us draw 6 units you will get an units here yes, 1 if you got this center point exactly on corners or exactly at the midpoint you can just go for measuring the units here so let us go for 6 units so mark this point as a O2 so now let us join all these slant edges O25 O26 O21 O22 and O24 so as you are going to draw this one with the exact scale so you may get a different shape than mine okay so now this is what pyramid now you need to construct this pyramid over a block here or a block okay so again so you identify the size here a to b how much you got and d to a how much you got so now you get a center point here over a rectangular block okay so let us mark this point as a O2 O1 okay so now measure the distance in this direction let us mark here and measure the directions about 0.4 you just mark over here similarly measure towards left side at the worst left side as well as towards right side so measure and mark along the direction okay so now you construct again a rectangular block here construct again rectangular block so you reproduce the same thing here this point is a this point is b so you got a point c here you got a point d now let us mark other points based on the measurement so you just measure what a to one let us mark here so now we can directly draw here so because you need to draw over this one over the number you can just reproduce the entire drawing over here no need to draw it separately in a sketchbook okay? so for your understanding so i'm just drawing it in outside okay now this is a point one you will get a point two you will get a point three here you will get a point four you will get a point 0.5 and you will get a point 0.6 measure the distances with respect to all corner points here so now corner point D you measure what is a point 0.4 and what is a point 0.5 you just copy from here 
copy the dimensions from this diagram now from o1 we just draw again other six units so let us say you got a point here you got a o3 now you join all the points here so join o3 o4 o3 o5 o3 o6 o3 o1 o3 o4 o3 3 and i also join these base edges also join these base edges now you identify the hidden edges which are visible and which are hidden okay so now this is what a theoretical procedure